happy Saturday. It is 8.30 in the morning. I just made myself a latte. We are still working on the machine, you guys. It has been a dilemma of trying to get the perfect espresso shot. It's it's so difficult. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not drinking like this coffee every single day, so that makes it more difficult because I'm not like doing it constantly. But anyway, today we made a coffee. It's okay. It takes a lot of like creamer for it to not taste incredibly bold, but it's fine. I have a pumpkin spice latte that I made this morning. Um, plan for today is a yoga class at 11 and then we're gonna go to a market um, over in St. Pete with my friend. And then that's really it for the weekend. Seth has a bunch of stuff he has to do tomorrow. I have to get into editing, um, that type of thing. So yesterday I worked in aesthetics and Wednesday and Thursday I worked in primary care and Tuesday I worked in aesthetics and I think that was a few clips of that were in last week's vlog but it's been difficult just like going back and forth and like vlogging and doing TikTok and all that stuff that I always talk about but anyway it was a very good week primary care was very hard like I saw um 45 patients in two days which to some might not sound like a lot to people who do like high volume stuff like urgent care dermatology things like that but in primary care when you deal with everything 45 patients is a lot of patients in two days so i was very tired but yesterday I had a good break seth and i did a little date night last night i meant to start the vlog but i just got too behind and here we are saturday morning my favorite morning of the week so we're just gonna sit outside and probably watch like a youtube video or something and relax this morning <laughs> So yesterday was so much fun. I think I put together like a bunch of montage clips essentially of yesterday because it was just go, go, go. Like I went to my yoga class and uh, then I ran, not actually physically ran, but I got ready super fast and went to St. Pete to go to the Mezzo market, which was so much fun. Um, a really great market. It was just boiling hot outside and so like uncomfortable, but I got this, I, me and my friend McKenna made these really cute little like charm necklaces. I'll show you mine um, sometime today. It's in my room and my husband is still sleeping. So, so cute. I love doing that. I've been wanting to do that for a while. So I'm so glad we got to do that. And then afterwards, my husband Seth actually met me over there because he had to pick up a rental car close and he got like a Tesla rental car. And I've never been in a Tesla before. And so he was like riding us around. It was, it was fun. It was fun. I don't think I would get a Tesla, but anyway, so we did that. And then we ate, came back and we started watching um, that show on Netflix last night that is about like the two brothers who, um, you know, unalived their parents. Um... And it is crazy and weird, but anyway, that is where I think I left you. So today is really an uneventful day. We do have a hurricane coming for Tampa that I'm getting a little bit nervous about. It's not supposed to hit until Wednesday, but I think it's like right now, Tampa is projected to be in its direct path. It's Hurricane Milton. So we're gonna probably do some hurricane prep the next couple days. And then that makes me sad because I'm not gonna work in primary care on Wednesday. And we're supposed to go to Boston on Friday. I think we'll still be able to go. Like, I think the hurricane will come and go. Obviously, it will, we will be affected by it, but I don't think, like, it will affect us, like, leaving to go to Boston. But anyway, I'm getting a little nervous about it, so we're probably going to do some prep today as well before the work week starts. And, yeah, hopefully once you, I mean, you guys are seeing this after Hurricane Milton has come through, so hopefully, like, everything is good. I'm so over hurricane season right now, like, I need it to be done. No more hurricanes like Tampa and Florida. We can't handle anymore right now. Just got back from.
from running to get bagels with Seth before his college fair today and then I stopped by shortwave coffee in Tampa and got a pistachio latte it was so good I actually still have some leftovers I'm sipping on sorry my lighting is kind of off right now um anyway I was gonna stop by Trader Joe's but then I realized that I forgot my purse and Trader Joe's in my area at least doesn't accept Apple Pay so I couldn't go to Trader Joe's um, and I, then I was like, oh, I'll go to Sprouts, but Sprouts also does not accept Apple Pay in my area. So anyway, we are home. I need to do laundry. I need to edit a YouTube video for today. This is my life all the time. <laughs> and um, I need to like empty the dishwasher. I just wanna like have a cozy day, like pick up my house, etc. And I'm somehow trying to keep my dogs occupied because it's raining outside, but I really wanna watch a fall movie because I haven't watched any fall movies, so I'm thinking maybe like Halloween Town or something like that would be so cute. Actually, I think I'm gonna put on Hocus Pocus. This is just like something good to have on in the background. A spooky movie, if you will. I am so close to 3,000 subscribers, which is so exciting. Just spent the last, I don't know, two hours getting a video edited. That's gonna go up today, and now I just need to post it on YouTube. I really like love posting on YouTube. It's one of my favorite modalities like that and TikTok and Instagram stories are like my favorite social medias. But um, YouTube definitely takes the most time to like edit and just get everything together. And also my um, uploading is so slow. So it takes literally all day on Sunday for it to upload. If I had the time on Fridays, I would do this on Friday. While it's uploading, I did finish watching Hocus Pocus while I was editing, and now this new Disney Plus show called Agatha All Along is on. Um, so I don't know, I'm watching that, and I'm about to make lunch, but I wanna show you guys what I'm making. I am making a dumpling salad for lunch, which sounds so good. I'm just making the dressing right now, and while I was editing my video, I air fried some dumplings and my Ninja Crispy. I'll show them to you in a second, but now we just need to make the dressing. I'm using um, Plant U. I, you guys know I talk about them all the time, but I'm basically taking one of their recipes and kind of modifying it a little bit. And it's just vegetable gyoza, some um, like coleslaw mix. I got this one from Trader Joe's with kale in it. And then the secret sauce calls for apple cider vinegar, soy sauce, sweet chili sauce, ginger, garlic, lime, and sesame oil. I'm sure she has like a recipe on how much to use, but I'm not that type of girl. <laughs> like when it comes to sauces, I'll just wing it. I'm just gonna mince some garlic and ginger. I just put, put a few pieces of gyoza. I made the sauce and I'm just gonna pour over I don't think I'm gonna pour over all of it. Maybe half. Seth just called me and said that all of the schools are canceled starting tomorrow. And he was like, if you wanna get gas, you should probably get gas because everybody is everybody's getting gas. And I try to go to Trader Joe's. I think I told you guys I try to go to Trader Joe's this morning, but I forgot my wallet. And I don't have Apple Pay. So I need to I still need to go to Publix. I'm just like not a fan of how crazy stuff gets whenever like there's a hurricane coming people like start freaking out there's no bread anywhere it's just like there's no basics anyway it's whatever it's gonna it's gonna be okay mm. this is really good i should have cut up the gyoza but otherwise like a really simple healthy-ish lunch. All right, I am just switching out my shoes. I am going to go out and brave, I don't know, whatever is going on here to grab some gas and some groceries. I'm trying to decide if I wanna to go to Publix or Sprouts. Like a part of me wants to go to Sprouts, but Publix is closer to my house and there's a gas station by Publix. So I'm like, I might as well just go to Publix. However, I do need to get my nails done before we leave for Boston. I could just do that tomorrow though. Yeah, I'll just do that tomorrow. Honestly, the way that it is looking, I'm just not sure that I'm gonna be working much this week because of 
the hurricane. Things are just looking a little bleak for me in regards to work, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. I'll have lots of time to work on socials and my website and that type of stuff and get up maybe like some forums, some nursing forums and some nurse practitioner forums. I'm just blowing out all my candles. So yeah, let's go to Publix. I'll be back boys. I might have gotten you a present. I might have. Do you want to see it? <laughs> Do you know what it is? I got one for Campbell and one for Hooji. That one's for Campbell, honey. Let me get these off. Hold on. Let me take the tags off. Take the tags off. You guys being good. Feeling very mild today. Okay, this one is for. Okay, that one is for camper. This one's for my hooch. Yeah, it's a baby. Would you like it? Okay. I was able to find gas, so I filled up and I went to Publix. I almost went and got my nails and I was actually walking into the place and then I read the sign that they closed at five and I was like, oh, let me not be that person because it was like 4:30. So. Anyway, made it back home. I'm gonna do a little Publix haul. You guys, groceries are so flipping expensive. All of this at Publix, this was like $215. This, I'm like looking at this, this is literally no freaking food. Um, I did get a box of water as well, but like this is it. This is why I go to Trader Joe's because Trader Joe's is half the price for more food, but Anyway, I got some poppies. I got a few of these Aloha bars. I can only find like boxes of these at Sprouts. I got a bunch of yogurt, um, some chicken meatballs for the dogs, more poppies, raspberries, broccoli, some tofu. I really wanna make a minestrone soup and um, grilled cheese tonight. So I got some chow cheese, pickled red onions, cotton candy grapes. Uh, a little bit of creamer. I was looking for the pistachio one, but they didn't have it, so I got the caramel macchiato. Um, I got some eggs for the dogs. I got a few like non-perishable items just because of the hurricane coming, but I do like keep some like beans and stuff stocked, and I have a bunch of rice. So, and our stove is electric, so God forbid if we like lost power, we would have food. But I did got get two things of black beans, chickpeas, some tomato sauce pomegranates, garlic, carrots, celery for the minestrone soup. I put camper, sorry, I got them two new toys as well. <laughs> um, I wrap my dog's Prozac in turkey breast and give it to them. I did get some protein shakes, which these are expensive too, so that's probably what was really expensive. Um, a thing of bread, and then I did get these in case we didn't have breakfast one morning like we didn't have um i wanted to say service but in case we didn't have electricity we could have cereal you know and then vegetable broth oat milk and a thing of diced tomatoes for the minestrone soup today if they need me because chances are with this hurricane we are not going to be working on Wednesday or even Thursday like it seems like it might hit us at either category three hopefully less than that but um I do not live in a mandatory evacuation area they haven't announced the mandatory evacuation areas right now but like I don't even live close like I live about like 20 miles north of Tampa 
um, so I'm not necessarily like at risk for the storm, storm surge but that doesn't mean that we're still not like taking precautions and like concerned about our house and flooding and stuff like that so um, they're gonna try to switch my patients from month from Wednesday to today if they can if they can get enough patients because I'm sure people are you know evacuating and it's just kind of a crazy time right now so we'll see how that goes but I'll keep you guys updated and I'm just gonna make myself a cup of coffee right now um, and kind of go from there one for you You're welcome. And one for me. All right, you guys, I've had a full social media work day and now I'm headed to get my nails done. I can't explain it, but the climate of everything right now is like really dark in Florida. I don't know, it's just, it just feels like something bad is looming. All of my family members have been reaching out to me asking if I'm evacuating, which I understand it is out of like love and care, but no, I'm not evacuating um, because I have two dogs and I do not live in an evacuation zone. So I am very blessed that I don't live in an evacuation zone. And don't get me wrong, I understand that people are doing that because they care. But it does make everything like more stressful when people are constantly asking you like, are you evacuating and telling you their opinion when you didn't ask for it. Like I'm already worried. I don't want to be even more worried if you know what I mean. So anyway, it feels weird even going to get my nails done right now, but it is four o'clock. The storm is not hitting until Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. So I still am supposed to go to Boston on Friday. I have no clue if that is supposed to happen, but either way, I don't know how long we're going to be without power. So I just want to get my nails done. I don't know. Like I, I feel bad, like even explaining myself, but I'm like, I just need to get my nails done because there are three weeks they're grown out and I don't know when I'm going to be able to get them done again. So the storm hasn't come yet. I did tell I think I might have told you guys this already, but I did tell my work that if they needed me to come in today that I could and I could see my patients who were scheduled on Wednesday because there's no way I'm working on Wednesday. I could see them today, but they said that literally everybody's canceling. I texted my coworker today and she said that she has seen quite a bit of patients, um, but that like a few of them have canceled. So I don't know guys. I just... It just feels really weird. I don't like it. I am feeling a little bit better. I went to my yoga class, which was honestly just good for the soul. I will say the one plus of this hurricane is it feels so nice outside in Florida. It has been like terribly warm, but since the hurricane started coming, like the high right now is 80 degrees, which I know sounds hot, but it's it feels good for us in Florida. Like I can wear this sweater and be very comfortable. I went to my workout class. I got my nails done. I do this every fall. I'm like, I want to get a brown color and I pick a brown that is purpley instead of a brown that is more like leathery orange. And it is <laughs> one of my biggest faults. I mean, the color is still really nice, but I like, I don't know why I can't cause when I'm like sampling the, the browns that I like, think I want in my head I'm like oh that's really orange it's gonna clash with my skin tone and I want just like a true brown like not an orangey brown a brown like espresso brown so next time but this is still like a nice color it's just very like purple I just got home put some ministry soup on the stove set in the gym and I have a few packages from Amazon I know I ordered one thing yesterday I don't remember what the heck it is so Let's open this. Oh, <laughs> I ordered some socks. <laughs> like some cute ruffly socks. I'll have these linked in my Amazon. These are actually so cute. I was really impressed that Amazon had ones like this. And like they were really affordable. I think they were 16 bucks and there's one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of socks in here. I love wearing cute socks like this with New Balances or 
any shoe that you have like these are so cute very neutral very fall i put those in my closet i think i ordered like oh yeah a descaler for my breville it needs to be descaled so <laughs> that's the amazon haul not that exciting but i need some minestrone soup and um watch a little bit of tv and then Seth and I actually have the task of cleaning out our garage. Our garage is still holding wood flooring that is spoke, was supposed to be done this week in our bedroom, um, as well as some leftover tiles for our kitchen. And so we haven't been able to fit Seth's car in the garage for probably the last two months. And it needs to go in the garage now that the hurricane is coming. So we have to do some rearranging there. And that's going to be a big house i did take in my halloween decorations today except for like my pumpkins and stuff i'll bring those in tomorrow evening mm -hmm. we still have to take in like our lawn chairs and stuff that we have in the backyard because that cannot be outside in a category three hurricane i do want to watch the latest updates on the latest update on the news but the news is so fear-mongering I kind of hate watching it. It gives me anxiety. Okay, we've got our soup ready. Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday morning. I just made myself a cup of coffee, and we are working in aesthetics today. I didn't have anybody cancel, but it is, like, beautiful right now. So, you know, we're still going to get hit tomorrow, whatever. But I still have my a few morning patients and then my work texted me yesterday. I had told them that I could work yesterday if they needed me to and they were like, we can't get patients and everybody's leaving. Like we can't, they're not rescheduling for today, they're rescheduling for next week. Um, and then they texted me last night and were like, hey, can you um, maybe do like televisits throughout the day? Like if we text you and you know, somebody needs a medication refilled or somebody needs something, can you do televisits and I obviously said yes so today's gonna be a little bit difficult to maneuver I believe um, we still have to get our house ready too it's not completely ready um, but they are expecting it not really to make landfall until tomorrow night early Thursday morning anymore so we do have time but I need to get some stuff ready I did get a text from my aunt asking if somebody could stay at my house who has not been able to evacuate um in tampa and obviously i said yes to that as well and then um my friends mckenna and connor i'm she is she works at the hospital she's working today but i'm worried they live in tampa and they haven't evacuated and I've, I've invited them to come up here because i'm i'm worried about their safety as well so i don't know we'll see kind of how everything plays out but it's getting kind of scary you guys i'm not gonna lie I'm, I'm really i'm very nervous for the state of tampa after this storm like we just can't we're not equipped for this just packing up a little work bag and a gym bag and then i need to grab something to eat for breakfast it's jim cantori right now i'm watching him is standing on bayshore boulevard which is so eerie it's the worst thing ever anyway one thing at a time i'm just most sad for like the state of florida right now but also like the city of tampa all right just pack some yogurt berries and we're gonna head to do some botox all right you guys i did my botox appointment this morning it was actually just a touch up but she needed cheek filler but she was like i'll do it in two weeks because um, I'm going to see her again in two weeks to look at her Botox. Just like a tip if any of you guys are injectors or wanting to get into injecting. I, most of the time, I would say 90% of the time, I give my patients a brow lift because when you inject the frontalis muscle, it naturally, this muscle is an elevator muscle. So when you um, put Botox in it and paralyze it, it naturally like depresses the um, forehead a little bit and your eyebrows can come down with it and most women don't like that men no big deal they don't really care but most women don't like that so i always add a little bit out here if the patient is okay with it to do just a slight like 
brow lift so that you don't get and you inject it into the abicularis oculi muscle not the frontalis muscle so literally like right in the eyebrow like on the end over here I'll inject just like one or two units typically just to give like a little bit of a lift so you don't feel so heavy in your eyebrows um, and some people some women can get like hooding on the um, um, on the eyelids if you you know are injecting the frontalis muscle like that so it's a little bit difficult people think that Botox is just like easy peasy and don't get me wrong like if you're good at it I'm sure it can be easy peasy it's definitely not easy peasy to me like I'm always assessing anatomy I'm always trying to look and see like is this gonna be the right treatment for this patient um, but there are like nuances with it because when you are freezing one muscle and trying to basically cause another muscle to do the opposite it's like you're balancing like your facial mus muscles are balancing and if you don't understand that your frontalis muscle is an elevator muscle um, and when you Botox it you depress it then you're not going to understand like how the Botox works you know and your orbicularis oculi muscle is actually a depressor muscle so um, when you Botox it it actually will elevate that area a little bit and your corrugators and your procerus which are like your 11s those muscles pull inward so yeah it's like it's all about balancing and sometimes it can be a little bit difficult especially when I'm not the only injector at my office which is totally fine um, we like switch days so I'm there Tuesday and Friday and then somebody else is there on Wednesday and Thursday and when you're not the one who's always doing the injecting it can be a little bit difficult because everybody injects differently but anyway that's just a little Botox lesson of the day they were gonna try to add some patients to my schedule anybody who need medication refilled refills or anything you know before the storm actually hits but I don't think they're gonna end up needing me I just texted my friend Christine who I work with and she was like honestly it's so slow like I can do the televisits if they have to add them so I doubt I'll probably be doing any televisits today let's give this a try I almost never get matcha out very rarely I was going through a period where I was getting it out a lot probably a couple of months ago but I haven't really been getting it out that much because really when you get matcha out it's not that good and it's really expensive like this is a an iced matcha with oat milk that's it it was like eight dollars and this is the only good place that I can really find matcha and I think it's because it's um, it's called sorbo so I think it's like Asian inspired and they do a really great matcha they make a great strawberry matcha but I just wasn't really feeling a lot of sugar uh, so good and then I got Seth an iced vanilla oat milk latte we're gonna head home Dinner is served. We're gonna do a little nighttime routine, skincare routine. Um, we just watched the latest like update and it looks like the storm is actually headed south a little bit, which is good for us, but not good for, you know, places south of us like Naples, Sarasota, etc. So there's really like no, there's no good. I'm gonna turn this back on actually because my windows are kind of fogged up but i'll speak a little louder so you guys can hear me so um yeah i'm just putting on a tretinoin i use tretinoin 0 0.025 every night i have used this apostrophe one before and i try to use it probably two nights a week but it is 0.05 percent tretinoin and it also has niacinamide and it's a little bit too strong for me i haven't like built up the tolerance to use it every single night so I use my prescribed 0.025 most nights and then some nights I use the 0.05. I'm gonna try a few new products that my husband got for me for my birthday. Oh, okay, so he got me this exfoliating mask from Luxiton. I'm not gonna use that tonight because I already put on my Tretinoin. But he also got me this lavender hand cream. It smells amazing. All of L'Occitane's products just literally like are luxury. I, this is not sponsored. I wish it was sponsored, honestly. But he also got me this shea butter and he said you could use it on your lips. 
I mean, it's shea butter, so I feel like you could use it anywhere, like dry spots that you have. And then this youth cream, which we're gonna try that out tonight. L'Occitane Immortal Divine. It doesn't have any like directions on the product. So I like love how good L'Occitane's products smell. I know that your skincare really it's best if it doesn't smell, but I just love how good it smells. So we're gonna use that and then I also have been really into my medical grade skincare so I'm gonna put on this skin medica even and correct I have been obsessed with skin medica recently I feel like they've really done a good job of like the texture of my skin that's what I'm really working on I have a lot of like redness around here and I can have I have like a little broken blood vessel there I do just need to get that lasered like nothing's gonna help with that and then I'm gonna use when we went to um, my company, Goldfingers Aesthetics, we did like a in-service with Allergan. They gave us these samples of everything, so that's kind of like how I got into the Skin Medica products. So I'm using trying to use their eye cream. Come on, I feel like I have more left. There we go. Their Instant Bright eye cream. I've been using this twice a day, and I feel like it has really helped with my little broken blood vessel. But again, I'm gonna have to laser it. Like it's just not gonna go away with products. And then this is my ride or die like moisturizer, this um, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. However, Skin Fix sent me um, in PR two of their creams. So whenever I get PR, I, I use it obviously because they sent it to me for free. And I have been really enjoying this um, Barrier Plus Triple Liquid triple lipid peptide cream i actually feel like the consistency is super similar to the triple um sorry to the first aid beauty they one it was more of a um like a thin consistency and this one is more of like a thick moisturizer and that's what i prefer like i like my moisturizer to be thick i don't like it to be water-based so i've been really enjoying that and then also, after I put on my Jurgens lotion every night, I try to be really good about that. I add on top of that this Loxiton Supple Skin Oil. Um, that's like the almond flavor. It is creme de la creme. This is the best stuff ever. It smells so good. And it is an oil. So I don't know. Some people might not like how oils feel. I personally don't like to feel really oily, but this feels like luxury. This doesn't feel like oil. <laughs> And that is my little nighttime skin care routine. Look at this. Can you guys see that? Hi. Do you need to come in here? Do you need some water from the toilet? Yeah. I know that's what you need. My dogs drink water from the toilet. They think it's their personal watering bowl. 